$400,000. That is the average amount the skin creator makes from a single accepted weapon skin. Now, what if I tell you that you can start making your own skins completely for free? In this video, we'll go over the basics needed for creating and uploading your first CS weapon skin. Before we can start creating our skin, we need to download and install some software. First, we'll download Blender. Blender is a free 3D creation software that can be downloaded through Steam. Just search for Blender in the Steam store and wait for it to install. Next, we need the weapon models for the new CS2 skins. These can be downloaded from the link in the description. Finally, we need to install a tool called VTF Edit. Again, I've placed the download link for this in the description. Now that everything's installed, let's head over to Blender. In Blender, we're gonna open a new general file and we're gonna remove all of this in the scene. Then we go to File, Import, Wavefront. And here we're gonna select the gun that we want to make a skin for. Once that's imported, we can go over to the materials and we'll create a new material for the gun, which we'll just call skin for now. Then we head over to the image editor where we're going to create a new image. Just give this a name and we're going to set the size to 2048 by 2048. Then we head to the shader editor. Make sure you're on the correct material, in this case it is called skin. And then we place a new image texture. We connect the color of the image texture to the base color of the skin. And then using this little pictogram we select our texture. Once that's done we can go to the 3D view again. And we can go to the texture painting tab. Where we'll see that whatever I paint on this texture will be reflected on the gun skin as well. But we don't really know where our drawing is going to end up on this gun skin. To fix this we go to the edit mode. Then we click A to select everything. And we can go back to the texture paint. Now you can see that all of the parts are shown on the texture. If we for example paint this buttstock of the gun. We can see that in the texture the same part is turned white as well. I'm no artist but let's quickly create something so we can check it out in game. I'm sure that with a little bit of practice all of you can do way better than me, but for now this will do. Let's save the texture by going to Image, Save As, and remember where you saved this. After this is done we can open up VTF Edit and import our texture. Just leave all of the settings as their default values and wait for it to load. Now we go to File, Export, and we save the new TGA file. To view the skin in game we need to enable our workshop tools. To do this open CS, go to Settings, Game and set Install Counter-Strike Workshop Tools to Yes. Now quickly relaunch CS and select the CS2 Workshop Tools. We click Launch Workshop Item Tools and a window like this will open. Now we go to GS Paint Kit Example and click the folder icon next to the albedo texture. Here we navigate to Content, CSGO, Materials and we make a new folder called Custom. In this custom folder we'll place the TGA file generated by the VTF Edit program. After that's done we can go back to the workshop where we select the gun we want our skin to be applied on. We set the albedo texture to materials slash custom slash the name of your skin dot TGA. When that's done you're pretty much set. You can scroll down for some more options and effects but I will not go over these today. We'll just add some per lesson for fun. If we want to inspect our skin in game we can go over to the inspect button on the top right of our screen. This will show our skin in the game window. Back in the workshop we can also choose to preview our skin in game. To do this click the preview button. And finally we have the option to publish our skin to the steam workshop. Clicking the publish button will open up this screen. We add our skin by clicking the plus icon. We give it a name and a description. To add an image, go over to the game tab and position the gun how you want it to show. Then go back to the publish tab and click capture. Finally we can set the visibility of our skin. If you want your skin to actually show up on the workshop, make sure you select public. But for now we'll just keep this hidden. After clicking submit, you can go over to the Steam workshop and click my files. Here you'll be able to see all the skins you have created. To post a public skin, you can follow the steps provided here. And if your skin is good enough, you might even be accepted into the next case. If you're interested in more detailed skin creation tutorials, please let me know in the comments. Maybe if there's enough interest, we could go through the full skin creation and publishing journey together in our next series. For now, that's all I have to say. See you in the next video.